a blazer is the perfect layering piece in the autumn and the fall. I think it looks a little bit more polished than a shacket or a cardigan and it's more lightweight to wear than a trench coat. So in today's video I've got six elegant ways to wear and style your blazer this autumn and fall. Whatever colour blazer you own, adding a pop of colour to the outfit can really elevate a blazer. For me, how I would do that is by adding a bag, but you could do it with shoes or a scarf or even a really bright coloured lipstick. This works with whatever colour blazer you own. If you have a check blazer, you could add a red bag or wear a red jumper. Of course, it doesn't have to be red. It could be any colour, but red does look great with a check. If you have a black blazer, you could, you could add a red jumper underneath or any kind of coloured top, or wear a really gorgeous coloured scarf to really elevate the outfit. Adding a scarf to a blazer, whatever colour it is, is an instant way to dress it up, even if the scarf tones are a little bit more muted. With a black blazer, you could wear it very classically with a white shirt and jeans, and if you wanted some colour, you could add some fabulous red shoes, or simply add a red bag. This is a look I've tried myself with a black blazer, a beige top, blue jeans and a red bag. All these pieces I'm wearing I've owned for a very long time now. Just very simple items that can very easily be pulled together or can be bought quite inexpensively. Now I love a camel blazer at this time of year and it's very easy to liven up with some colour. As well as adding the coloured bag to it, you could go one step further with a plaid shirt for even more colour. Or just like the other blazers, add a coloured knit to it. Red and camel are glorious together. A very expensive looking combination and it looks even better with some gold accessories with it too. I put this look together myself with a camel blazer from Reese, which has been one of my best buys. I got it in the sale and I've had so much wear from it. I just love this combination together and it's another easy way to change up the blazer. A new favourite way of mine to wear a blazer is to wear them with some wide leg trousers and some trainers. This next look is one that I have showed you before in one of my recent videos. I know this is a look that many of you don't like. This is quite a relaxed look with very comfy trousers and a casual top. I've done the same look with things I already own. Some black trousers, trainers, a very old Forelli bag, a white t-shirt from Gap. As it gets colder, I'll wear a long sleeve top with it, or maybe I'll even switch it out for a sweater, something like this. It's kind of a new look for me because I've never really been a huge fan of wearing trainers, but I found some I love now, which are from Supergra. I've spoken about these before on my channel, and I'm finding myself wearing them more and more now. Neutrals are quite often reserved for spring, but we really shouldn't overlook them at this time of year. A neutral outfit with a blazer can look incredibly chic in the autumn. As you can see, this look is with a coat, but try and imagine similar pieces with a wool blazer. So it would be something like this, but with season appropriate pieces. If you have a gorgeous wool blazer, it could be paired with a roll neck. That could be added to some beige trousers. If wide leg trousers aren't your thing, you could try some jeans or some slim leg trousers. The tan bag looks fabulous with the outfit and the texture and tone add some contrast to the look. But the beautiful thing about this outfit is the scarf. It's the colours in the scarf that really pulls it all together and stops it looking a little bit wishy-washy. When we're going into the colder months, we kind of automatically reach for those thick woolly scarves. But if the weather allows it, a silk scarf can really look terrific. And of course, there's lots of beautiful ways it'd be tied and worn with the blazer. Pairing a blazer with a white shirt is a combination that will just never go out of style. And it could be any colour blazer. Paired with a white shirt, it'll look great. If you have a grey blazer, pair the white shirt with some black jeans or trousers for an instant winning look. Or instead of black jeans, you could try blue jeans. The same look could be done with black jeans and trainers for a more casual look, or swap the trainers for a coloured shoe. I like a neutral blazer and I like a layered look too. So this is a great way to combine the two and it's a gorgeous colour combination that looks wonderful together. Or you can just wear it without the layers if that's not your style. A navy blazer looks very chic with a crisp white shirt and rather than jeans you could pop it together with some lighter trousers for a glorious outfit combo. Perhaps the easiest pairing is a black blazer with a white shirt and blue jeans and a go-to look for many. It just always looks great. But the white shirt and blazer combo doesn't have to be boring. There are ways you can mix it up a little bit 
Princess Diana did it with a tie, the Duchess of Cambridge, she wore a shirt with a frill. You could wear the blazer over your shoulders, accessorise with some pearls, or you could even layer it over a polar neck. Personally, I don't think there's anything wrong with being too matchy-matchy. In fact, I think matching your accessories to your outerwear has a certain class and sophistication to it. If you have a camel blazer, one way to wear it is with a coloured shirt underneath. A chambray shirt looks great, but a red one would also look really fabulous. And then add a bag in the matching colour to the blazer. If you're wearing a neutral outfit underneath, like this look, matching the bag to the blazer really works. An outfit in one colour with a bag in the same colour is also a really nice way to do it. In earthy tones like this, it wouldn't feel quite so obvious as if you did a similar look in a really bright colour. Or do all black underneath for a very classy combination. Autumn isn't always about earthy tones, as the Duchess of Cambridge showed recently when she was seen in a purple suit. She accessorised with a black belt, navy shoes and a black bag. But I think a purple bag could have worked too. If you also need some colour in your wardrobe, you could try a look like this and wear a red bag with it or go for blue instead. Bright colours are on trend this season so you can be really bold with it. Animal prints on trend this season and it pairs beautifully with a blazer, particularly black or camel, but it will look great with any colour blazer. If you have a camel blazer, you could try wearing it with a dress and adding an animal print bag. It doesn't have to be camel, you could try black instead or grey perhaps with a snakeskin print. Although this look is with a coat, the same look could be recreated with a blazer and with some animal print boots, heeled or flats, or instead of boots, just add a bag. If you like leather, something like this would work with a cream or a beige blazer and you could wear that with a skirt or with trousers. Or this skirt outfit would look great paired with a black blazer and swap the heels for some knee-high boots. An animal print belt could work over the top of a blazer or just worn around the waist of an all-black outfit with a black blazer. If you have some leopard print shoes, heeled or flat, they really look fabulous with a camel blazer, either with blue jeans or with black jeans or trousers. This is a favourite look of mine, which I wear all the time. Black jeans, white shirt, camel blazer and animal print shoes. A little bit of animal print really can elevate a blazer outfit. For some more blazer outfit inspiration, I've got some videos on the screen right now, so just click on either of those now to watch those next. Bye for now.